Pulmonary arterial hypertension is a rare disease, and untreated, it's often fatal. Untreated patients often die in two or three years. It's mediated by abnormalities in three different pathways. One very important pathway in pulmonary hypertension is the prostacyclin pathway. For about two decades, we have been able to target the prostacyclin pathway. However, the therapies are delivered via intravenous medication or under the skin. And in addition to side effects of the prostacyclin, they are at risk for infections of the line or malfunction of the pump. Some of the prostacyclins are delivered by an under the skin infusion and that can be very painful for patients. The Griffon study evaluated Selexapeg, which is an oral prostacyclin receptor agonist. Selexapeg targets the prostacyclin pathway by binding to the IP receptor. It's a novel mechanism of action. In this study, this oral medication to target the prostacyclin pathway was effective and well tolerated by the patients. This was a great opportunity to attack the prostacyclin pathway earlier in patients because it was an oral form as opposed to a parental form. We learned that getting this therapy on board before patients were so sick as to need the IV therapy was effective in delaying hospitalizations and disease progression, the morbidity and mortality endpoint that was assessed in this trial. This therapy will allow us to attack the prostacyclin pathway earlier in the course of the disease and may reduce hospitalizations, disease progression for many patients who would not have otherwise gone on a prostacyclin.